there is no such thing as walking by faith and not overcoming. Christ said, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. And before that, just a bit before that, he said, peace I leave unto you, my peace I give unto you. So when you have his peace and you walk in that peace, you overcome the world. There is no such thing as walk by faith and not overcoming. When you walk by faith, there will be retaliation against your movement in faith. But you overcome because you walk by faith. So if you don't see the, re the retaliation, that means that there can't be an overcoming because there's no, there's no fight against the individual nor against his work influence. So when you see the tribulation, when you see that there is no tribulation, they're not walking by faith. They're operating in a counterfeit, which Satan has entrapped, thinking they're walking by faith, but in fact, they're walking right into the destruction. So, walking by faith, there is retaliation which you overcomes. No overcoming, that means it's not walking by faith. And overcoming doesn't mean that one day you wake up and it's all uh, moonshine and roses. I'm not talking about that. Overcoming means that even though it's contentious there, you are at ease and you are above it. Whenever there's an attack or an assault, there's a way out for you. There's always a way out and doors keep opening for you all the time, no matter how many wizards, warlocks or cabinets or coffins come against you. So, someone walks by faith, there will be retaliation and there will be overcoming. If there's only tribulation, something doesn't add up. But if there's no tribulation at all, stay clear from that individual if they claim to be if they claim to be of Christ, but there's zero tribulation, you know what you're dealing with then. But for now, I agree with Christ, be at peace.